The question I've been getting asked is around Facebook ads and how to choose your listings for your ad. So we're going to go ahead and create an ad using the KWLS system. So I'm here under the campaigns part of command and this is where you're able to create a new Facebook ad if you haven't done one before there's a couple things you need to do beforehand like making sure you have connected your Facebook account under settings which is your name and settings you're gonna to want to make sure that you've added a credit card on file under payment methods and just so you understand how this is working it's you actually creating an ad under Keller Williams is Facebook ad account and that's how it feeds into command which is why you put a credit card on file Facebook is going to charge Keller Williams and Keller Williams is going to charge us so how this is working is Keller Williams is going to charge you instantly for the ad so if you spend 25 bucks you'll be billed for $25 now then they're going to run the ad and if there's any money left over they're going to actually give you a credit for the next time so that'll all be stored here just so you're aware how that works so the big goal is around creating an ad maybe around one of my new listings so you're going to come here to create new and you're going to choose social ad if it's social media now this is how I can run an ad for Facebook Twitter and Instagram right now we're just gonna focus on Facebook and running this it'll work kind of the same for all the other channels so I want to make sure I give it a name so how about we say 5550 North Ocean Boulevard if that was the property address so I know which campaign this is for and what is your goal advertise the listing get more listings attract talent brand awareness event awareness you're going to do advertise the listing if you want to promote your listing to get it sold. So I'm going to choose advertise listing and I'm going to choose Facebook here and set up the campaign. Now this is going to open up a little prompt which is accessing KWLS 2.0. Now we're still mapping this so just understand if your listing is missing you got to let us know and support that it's not here. We're still mapping most of the market centers all across America right now and there's a few that don't have their stuff coming in just yet. So it's going to default with your listings. This may be blank to start because again we're still mapping this out. If you switch it to all listings this should be able to find your listing. For this example I'm going to use someone else's listing since I do not currently have mine and I'm going to search for 5550 North Ocean Boulevard you will see listings of agents that are in the MLS not just with Keller Williams so make sure that it's your listing or you have permission if it's going to be someone else's listing I'm not actually running this ad and I'm going to select one here so this is from James and it is on Ocean Boulevard now this is now the address here is the name of the goal the right hand side is going to be the preview of this and when I go to add copy you're gonna see it pulled this data from the listing so this is what they have it in here and clearly they've got a <laughs> spelling error it's not my text so put in a headline I might say something great like um, the two bedroom condo on the ocean breathtaking views so your whole goal is to get a message that is going to show up here in the headline you get up to 100 characters the main copy they put it in so unobstructed views to correct the spelling of that that's gonna be here I might leave that but notice it's cutting it in and I've got this unit is lightly used dot 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 so it only is going to use part of this text so I'm actually gonna delete the last sentence because I want to keep it two sentences maybe keep it a little less so that it fits the text and I don't have that ellipsis dot 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 so I'm gonna go ahead and save that add a link destination I can have this go to the link of that on my website so just for this example I'm going to just have them go to my website jtmfl.com you would have them go to your website slash whatever the website name is or create a landing page you can put the description here so I will say two bed two bath 1600 square feet ocean front condo something like that which is going to show up here you get your three options of what you want to do learn more sign up contact us or let me move my face uh, you've also got the option now of apply now so that's a new button they've added so we'll see learn more is the most clicked button in here so I'm gonna leave it there alright and save 
Facebook is where I'm going to be able to say, okay, which is my account? So remember I connected it. And if you need to connect another account, you can do that here. And I'm going to select my page, which will be my real estate page. Now you'll notice it changes over on the right. So there's my logo, here's the information, and here's the text. Then I get two options, lead generation and lead awareness. So awareness is where they click the link and I'm making them aware about my new listing. Lead generation actually is going to capture a lead on Facebook and when they click the button, Facebook's gonna automatically grab their name, phone number, and email address and feed that into command. So if it's a listing, you may wanna do that one and send them more information or have them go to a web page. So you're gonna to wanna to decide which one's best for you. When I go to use photo, you'll see here are the photos from the listing. So the neat thing here is I can, I didn't have to go hunting for them. I can grab maybe this image. I can grab a wonderful photo there. There's a picture of the kitchen. Maybe I wanna show the bathroom, bedroom, pool, and maybe the clubhouse. So maximum six images, so here they are. And it kind of creates this little slideshow to go through, which is great if it's a listing because they like to see that. I will let you know you also can use a video and manually upload the file here as long as it's under 250 megabytes and less than 10 minutes. Please don't do a 10 minute ad for a video. Do a small promo if get that aerial drone shot of your property or something and put that here. Use the upload a video, it will play the video and host it on Facebook. If you use the video URL from like YouTube, it's gonna be like a click here to watch, which isn't as great of an experience if you're on Facebook. So for this example, I will leave it with the photos that are here. Switch it back to photo, and there are my six photos. Now I can choose my audience, so I'm gonna go ahead and say here, if this one is in, uh, let's just say Fort Lauderdale. Florida, and I can go as close as 15 miles. When it comes to location, that's the closest, and you can go up to 50 miles. Think about who is going to be buying this property and where do they live. So we're a secondary market. A lot of people come from out of the area. That's okay to say maybe you want to run this ad to those in New York looking for that summer home, the vacation home, or the future retirement home. Where is the client going? And you would target them. So I'll leave it here in Fort Lauderdale. Yes, you can choose some interest. There's some options around that. Just understand when you choose an interest or you put something here, like if they like Zillow, or if they like real.com, it's an and statement, not an or. So don't narrow it too much. If I was done, I hit save here and the last step would be under budget. So I can say how long do I wanna run this and how much do I wanna spend? And if I was done, I can hit save and go forward. It's a couple of steps. It may take some practice. Facebook is great at dabbling and trying things out. Uh, one of the best options they've added is the fact that when you run this, it's our artificial intelligence of Kelly and their Facebook artificial intelligence, making sure we reach the right person and maximize this ad. Thanks for watching. I hope you understand now how to pull up your listings and pull that info. By the way, if it didn't come in, that's okay. You can still just open up the MLS and copy and paste some text here. And if the photos didn't automatically come in, not the end of the world, you can still come here under the content and manually upload your own photos, which may actually be in higher quality. Some MLSs may squish your photo down. Thanks for watching. Be sure to submit your questions if you have any more and please keep using command.